knowing yourself. A lot of us think that we actually know why we do what we do. Every day we wake up, we see ourselves doing these mundane tasks. Filler, if you might want to call it that. Things that don't really move the needle to what you really want from life. I personally believe that being holistic and understanding yourself in all aspects of life would be able to make you have better connections with not only your friends, your family, but with yourself, most importantly. Over the past couple of months, I found myself doubting my abilities to even be here, to speak to you right now, to be able to share my thoughts, to be able to project myself in a way that I think that you would be able to understand. And I couldn't get to this point without knowing who I truly was. A lot of us think that we're just Jim, financial advisor. I got three kids. I got a mortgage, I got a cool dog, golden doodle, and I got one car. That's who I am, or that's who I think I am. Up until the age of seven, we often admire and we examine our environment. And we tend to copy and mimic the people that we see within it. We try to do exactly what they do, say exactly what they say, just to fit in and feel connected, while all at the same time, we've lost track of who we truly are. In order to get back to who you are, you have to understand that there are places within yourself that you dare not visit, that you have avoided since you were a teenager, and now that you're grown, you think, oh, I'll go to the bar on Friday with my boys. I'll drink it up. I don't have any problems. They have the problem. I'm the treasure. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. All of them, everyone in my life is crazy. I'm not crazy. You crazy? Yeah, I think you are. And that's because everything that goes on in your life shows you a reflection of you, the things that you hate within another person, the things that you dislike and you can't bear to see, you can't bear to stand these particular instances. It's because they are present within your life. And our lives have an interesting way of bringing us right back to who we truly are. We're lazy. We're unsupportive. We lie. We cheat and we steal. But that is what makes us human. That is what makes us connected to who we are. We have to accept these parts of us because if we don't, we will feel as if we're living a lie, a shell of who we really are. We do exactly what everyone else wants us to do, but nothing relating to what we want to do. And once again, I find myself questioning, well, maybe they're not the problem. Am I the problem? Am I the one that really needs to sit down and understand who I am? And I'll tell you the short answer, yes. A lot of your friends, acquaintances if you may, they're only your friends because you do something for them that they could benefit from. You ask them anything outside of that and they do not respond to your text messages for a week. You call them, they're on busy. You text them, they still have an answer. You overextend yourself in many places because you don't know who you are, what you provide, what are your values, and what you can give to the world. So, I came today to figure out with all of you who I truly am, who do I want to be, and who do I view myself as. And in order to do that, I have to go deep within my conscious and subconscious. Oh, oh, he's one of them. Conscious and subconscious, what? Who is he? Psychologist? Psychiatrist? I thought you were a gym owner. Yes, but I am also a human being and I also know what it feels like to be an imposter. 
I know what it feels like to ignore the parts of me that are crying out to be exposed, to show people who I truly am because I have a unique perspective held within my mind and I am able to portray that to all of you in the form of some information. I have to be conscious of my thoughts. I have to be totally aware of why I am going to say a particular thing, who I'm going to say it to, and when I am going to say it. And I also have to be aware of my tone, my frequency, the way I speak to people. If I get really excited, I am going to sound totally unnatural. If I talk too slow, you immediately think I don't know what I'm saying. So we have to understand everything that comes with us, the mind, the body, the spirit, even your finances, because you can be mentally healthy, but that doesn't mean your bank account is. You won't be able to go down the road and make sure you get all your snacks for your mental health. So how do we connect with ourselves? Connecting with yourself is the base. To be able to connect with other people around you, you must know why. Why do I respond in this particular way? Why is it that I feel this way when someone lets me know that I'm doing a particular thing? You have to be able to master your emotions. Be able to decipher between the feelings that you get when you want to do something and what others are telling you. Because only you know what you want. I wanted to be here today. Everyone else didn't think that way. Being able to take control of your thoughts is the first part of mastering yourself. A lot of us have limiting beliefs. A lot of us tell ourselves, I cannot do that. It's no way I'm gonna get in front of a hundred people and talk about my life. It's impossible. I'm too scared. I'm not worth it. And we repeat this cycle in our mind and we get ourselves in this negative loop. And we constantly emit that frequency that vibration, our actions reflect the way we think. If I think that I'm going to mess up this TED Talk today, then guess what? You guys will get a great laugh because I blabber. The next part of myself that I have to understand is the dark parts of myself. Everything needs contrast. Yin, yang, dark and light. You cannot get one without the other. You need to accept the parts of yourself that you deem bad, that society does not want you to disclose. These are the parts that make you unmotivated. These are the parts that make you lazy. These are the parts that make you inconsistent, as I am. And I'll tell you a short story on why. 2021. I came to MSSU, full of hopes and dreams. I wanted to do it all. I want the car, I want the house, I want the girls, I want a party, I want to do everything. But I don't want to put in the work for it. So I decided, hmm, how can I cheat this? Like I did everything else in my life and got away with it. What can I do to work smarter and not harder? Okay. Let's ignore the parts that I need to work on and go straight to the end. Let me ignore the fact that I have to be able to understand myself on a deeper level through energies, frequencies, and vibrations. I'll skip all of that. I didn't care for it. That's a bunch of esoteric mess. I don't need it. And as I went through life, I realized that in order to have a full experience, you must incorporate all parts of life. You need to be able to lean into your spiritual side. You need to be able to lean into the physical. You need to be able to understand yourself on the mental plane. You need to be able to understand your finances in order to get a complete living experience. 
It is all connected, as Nikola Tesla once quoted. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. The energy that you give off is contagious. People feel it. When you enter a room, they look at you, they stare, they judge you. Do you judge back? You don't have time for that. You love everyone you come in contact with. You share great ideas. You make sure that everyone is engaged with the conversation and you give value. People want to be around you. You don't have to try. When I first got to MSSU, I tried so hard to fit in where I didn't. My environment changed me. I decided to let the outside forces direct my path and I tried to conform to everyone else. The sad part about this is I still don't know what I'm doing. I didn't know it back then, and I don't know it now. But the only difference is I'm aware that I have no clue. A lot of people have no idea what they're doing, but they're not aware of it. And they continue to spin their wheels in the mud doing mundane filler tasks that get nothing done. I did this for over three years. I did it at the end of high school. I did it in the beginning of college. And I continued to do it up until last week, where I would just do a lot of little tasks to make me feel productive, to make me feel like I actually did something, to give myself a round of applause. It meant nothing. I didn't achieve any goals that I set out. I said that I was going to do something, and I made up a lot of excuses as to, okay, I can't do that because I don't have enough money, or I can't make this step because I don't have any connections within this area. And I realized that understanding who I truly was, I was able to connect with each person I came in contact to. The exact same reason I got on this talk today is because I decided, you know what? I don't want to be the party guy. That's not my environment. I don't want to drink all day and just kick it with the boys. It's, it's not fulfilling. I wake up and I do this because I want to fit in with them. I want to connect with them. But in order to do that, I have to disconnect from the person that I previously was to update my systems to become a better version of myself. And a lot of us are afraid. We have fear taking grip of everything that we do in life. That's just false expectations appearing real. You have not done it yet. Yet you think that you will not succeed. I thought that I would not be able to make it. Therefore, my actions reflected this in my daily routines. I changed my mind. I changed my frequency. I tuned in to more positive energies. And eventually, as I went along and I stayed consistent, my reality matched my thinking. Be aware that nothing is inherently good nor bad, but it's your perception of the situation that makes it so. You get a flat tire, you think it's all over for you. You can't make it a work, you can't pick up your kids, you can't go to Starbucks and get that sugar chino, whatever it is. It's not always the way that it seems. The person that helps you fix that flat tire could be able to give you a full lift exactly where you need to go. You might be able to come in contact with someone that you've been following on Instagram for months because you wanted to get a sit down and have a conversation with them. I wanted to be able to talk to Ted. I wanted to know who is this guy and how can I meet him? I had to be conscious that I had to make sure that my surroundings made me the person that I have to be to get on this platform. The frequencies, the tone in my voice, 
The fact that you can hear me speak right now in this particular manner, you've already given a visual perception. I know who he is. I know what he does. I know the type of person he is because the energy is communicated through the way we speak. There are vibrations being made. There are certain frequencies that it enters your air and you resonate with it. That's why when we hear certain forms of music, we either get really sad or we get really happy. And we need to understand that this is present in anything and everything that we do in the form of light. It's all there, all at the same time. But I want you to be able to tap into the parts that you want the most. You are free to do this. You don't have to wait on anyone. You don't have to be a particular person. You don't have to understand the entire world. You just have to take action. Make the first step. And the steps after that will be much easier. So my goal was to get a TED Talk. And here I am today, understanding myself and what exactly I wanted from life. And I stand before you in achievement of my goal by saying thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But what does all of this matter if I don't know who I am? I'll go in the back. I'll feel like I've done nothing with my life. I need to understand the reason for why I'm doing what I'm doing. I need to understand how it impacts everyone around me. And I need to understand when is the right time. So begin by sitting with yourself in silence. We often fear silence because it really is too loud. It really is too much for us to handle because the minute our thoughts creep in and we begin to doubt ourselves, we immediately have to get out. But you need to embrace this part of yourself. You need to get deep within your thoughts and understand that the things you think about you, everyone else can see it in the way you move. Thank you.